Hi friends! So today we're going to talk about the remainder of 2021. So today I just wanted to do like a sit down chatty video with you all and talk about the rest of 2021 what's coming up, what do we have going on, what kind of crazy can you expect from me and my world. So you'll be seeing this in August, which means there's August, September, October, November, December, five months left of the year. What do I plan to get up to in those last five months? Oh hell, a lot. So A, in August, I'm doing VEDA, but you probably already know that because you're here and uh, it's, it's it's been a minute. I don't know what day this video is going up, but right now it's July and I'm bulk filming, pre-filming. So you probably already know that I'm doing VEDA, but that's outside of the point. That's probably the biggest YouTube thing. And I'm also planning on doing Advent again this year, uh, much like last year where I took questions from you guys and answered those in like a video every day. I'm planning on doing that in December as well. So long as life remains somewhat kind of sort of normal because I really enjoyed that and highlighting some smaller creators and doing those things. Like that's probably the biggest YouTube thing. Also, if you don't know this already, I made a separate YouTube channel for the World Ride Ride-a-thon. So later this year in October, we'll be having the next round of the Ride-a-thon and it has its own channel now. There is both a Discord server for the event and a Discord server for the community. So if you are someone, whether you are a host, a co-host, or just someone who watches, um, there is an entire community Discord server where people go and just chat about either writing related things or reading things. There's channels for video games and all kinds of things. Some people use it for looking for betas or critique partners or alpha readers whole slew of things on there. So far everything is going really well. There seems to be a good amount of chatting and a good amount of community on there. I'm really enjoying that. I haven't had to release my hounds very much. I do have a couple of moderators. Well technically there's me and Sam and then um, Sherry is also a mod and the three of us are now known as the Hex Girls for obvious reasons and uh, you know <laughs> We have a good time. Nothing wrong with that. I know that we are going to be doing some pop-up sprints on the World Wide ride thon YouTube channel and that will also be where all of the announcements and everything will be coming from from now on instead of from this channel because you may like the ride thon and you may not like my face. So a separate channel is a good plan for you and for me. So that is a thing that's also coming up in October. The date announcement will be in August and signups will probably also be in August. So uh, look out for that. All of that information, everything is linked down below as always. So that's YouTube out of the way. Let's talk about writing. What am I excited for writing wise? Well, let me tell you, if you missed it, one of my first videos this month is that I completed the first draft of my French Grim Reaper story. So I will be doing some craft book, replotting, restructuring, those kinds of things in August. And then hopefully in September, I'm going to start on a second draft of that um, or a second draft outline because I'm going to outline it first before I start the draft. But you know what I mean? I'm hoping by the end of 2021 to have a readable draft for a couple of critique partners or friends if you will. Um, I'm hoping by the end of 2021 to have a readable draft um, for some friends to read and go over and assess. That's my goal. Um, I probably will not work on any other projects this year because it will take me the remainder of the year to do that, I'm sure. But that's that's kind of where I'm at with writing and where I think that is the book that I'm going to focus on for a while. Uh, it's where I'm happy at. It's where most of you seem to be the most excited about. And it just is really working for me right now. So I think that's where I'm going to live for a little while. That's writing. We have writing under control. Now we get to reading. Books. These are just the ones that I have arcs of that I'm super excited about that are coming out the rest of this year. Let's talk about If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez. And I think it's Kale Dietrich. Um, I just had the last names wrote down. 
it's fine. The X Hex by Erin Sterling, super excited for. The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, super excited for. Those are books that have arcs for. There are some that I don't have arcs for that I don't even remember the names of. There's an Adrian Young book coming out this fall. There's a Sarah Glenn Marsh book coming out this fall. What else is coming out this fall that I'm like super stoked on? I don't even remember. Like there's so much, so many books, so many good books are coming out this fall that I'm super excited for, that I'm here for, that I'm ready for. I just want all of the things if you haven't noticed. Also, I'm probably going to take some vacation time in October and I don't know what I'm going to do during that vacation time, but hopefully it's something productive. Your girl can hope. Depending on how the world continues to go, I may at some point like travel somewhere and meet up with some of my friends who live on crazy sides of the continent from myself. Who knows? Not me. It's going to be crazy. I have so much to do. I'm so ready for just like all of the things. I'm just excited to get to everything that's coming. A lot of times I kind of dread the things and I don't think about how much fun I have when I'm doing them. And definitely for the past few months, I've been thinking about all of the fun. Like I definitely have been having the fun. I've already planned like, you know, I'm planning my 31 books for October. You know, I'm doing it because I'm crazy. I have like 45 books to choose from I think that I've like made a list of like books that I can read so I can mood read throughout the month but all the spooky books in October for sure. I've got a weekend planned to um, have like a girls sleepover with my best friends and watch spooky movies. Uh, I'm just I'm so stoked like just some things I've said like 400 times in the last 20 seconds. That's how you know I'm excited. Let me know in the comments below what you're most looking forward to coming up for the second half of the year or the remainder of the year if you want to go that route. Either way that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss any of the amazing things that I have going on in the future make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!